we are doing gigantic shoulders. Well, they are. They're, they're pretty big. As always, for the first 24 hours after I release a video, the pattern is on sale. So you can check it out on my website, or you can go over to Patreon, which is a screaming deal, and pick it up there for this month only. So if you're doing a one-off, it's really simple to just tape your pattern down. Obviously, if you're doing multiples and multiples and multiples, you may want to have a permanent, heavier cardstock pattern to go with. But for now, tape it down. I always stress this, no matter what thickness of leather you're cutting, but if you're specifically cutting heavy, saddle skirting, 12 to 15 ounce leather, make sure you strop your blade, even if it's a fresh blade. Just strop it right away and you'll have a much easier time cutting through all that hide. Same thing on these upper layers, punch your holes first, and then we're going to cut it all out and get to beveling it. I love a nice bevel, look at that. Whew, damn. Oh yeah, buttery. Now it's time for some carving. This pattern obviously comes with this artwork. You can use it if you want, or not. Totally up to you. Now obviously this isn't a leather carving video, so be sure to check the description for a link to one of my most popular videos on leather carving. This is the perfect moment to help support this channel by hitting the like button, subscribing, and making sure your notifications are on and set to all. Because YouTube sometimes sets them to personalized, which means YouTube decides what you watch and not you. And then what the hell is the notification button even for? So one of the things you can do if you are stitching together a piece that lies flat is just push it together and do this cross stitching like I've done here. Then you can flex it open and hammer it down and everything will pop into place. Make sure your stitches are tight, don't go loose on them, and just use a hammer or some elbow grease to get everything to line up properly. Hey, I don't use an airbrush to dye things very often on this channel. I am going to do it more, and this was going to be the first of many. But honestly, I didn't like how it looked, so I decided to dye everything black. So recently I started painting miniatures again and I decided to use a certain miniature painting technique called a slap chop technique on this project. What that involves is various levels of dry brushing and then using a contrast paint to paint over the dry brushing. Didn't turn out exactly how I had hoped, but it still looks pretty cool I think. And it was like kind of an accidental effect. Because somebody got a little excited with their dry brushing, I needed to use some alcohol to lift that paint up, which also lifted some dye up, so I just re-dyed it black. I applied a coat of acrylic resin to these 
I do that to protect the dye and the paint that I have to put on it. It does add a little bit of gloss, but it's, it can be worth it. Now I know what you're thinking, but I don't own a sewing machine which is perfectly all right. There's holes on the pattern for all your hand stitching, so don't worry about it. But since I own a sewing machine, guess what? I'm gonna fucking use a sewing machine. I love these peening rivets. Don't overthink it. Just use some rapid rivets. It'll be quite all right. There's lots of great leather craft rivets out there. You don't need to go crazy with peening rivets. wondering how to attach it to your armor or gamison or whatever you want it's kind of up to you you can punch a couple holes and lace it onto a gamison you can put some buckles and mount it to a gorget or a shoulder strap lots of different options if you're looking for a discount on tools and supplies you can check the description of this video for a link to the Lonsdale leather use my code get 10% off also free shipping on orders over $150 to the US and Canada can't go wrong with that and I obviously share a love for armor. I'm going to put another video right here for you. It's a shoulder armor video. Much smaller shoulders. Have a look. And until next time, keep on being creative in whatever it is you do.